Hello. I feel like this is the awkward few minutes when you can see me and I can't see you. Hi, hello everyone. Good morning. I can see you all slowly coming in there. Good morning, Hannah. Hi, Laura. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Fab, okay. Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Hope you are looking forward to a lovely day in the sun, wherever you are. The weather is absolutely glorious here. So, thanks so much for joining me again. Uh, welcome back if you've been to one of these sessions before with me, and welcome if this is your first time. Uh, my name's Josie, and today's class is going to be uh, aerial. I'm really sorry, a wasp flew in and is flying around my head. <laughs> I was like, why would that happen at this moment? Um, so welcome, aerial conditioning. So today's class is a ground-based session. It's uh, strength and stability. Okay, it's a low impact workout. So it's actually a really good session for you to do if you've got any like joint issues, you just don't really like cardio, but you still want to get strong, things like this are great. Also, if you're an aerialist and you are at the moment unable to train, I've worked out a lot of exercises that are really gonna help you build up strength in those muscles that you use all the time to hold yourself up. So um, it's gonna be useful for everyone. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying the lives this week. We've actually had a really fun week with loads of different classes. Uh, yesterday was Charlotte's makeup tutorial, so if you missed that, that will be just below. Hi everyone. Um, and uh, yeah, we've also had Shireen doing baking. We've had Von's killer circuits. Kayla's wonderful yoga, as always. Um, so yes, and tomorrow we've got Tita as well, doing some healthy recipes and cooking for us. So, I hope you've enjoyed. We really appreciate having you. Uh, so our workouts are all free, and our classes and our sessions, everything we're giving to you is totally free, but of course, none of us are able to work at the moment. I'm sure that's the case for a lot of you as well. So. If any of you do feel like buying us a coffee, we have pinned at the bottom of the comments here a buy us a coffee link. So if you are able to donate anything at all, we would be super grateful and we're really grateful to everyone that has donated so far. So, today's class, we're going to be on the ground. We're going to have a short, sharp blast of conditioning. It's going to be hard. Stick with me. I'm going to try not to come back to the camera too much. We're going to try and keep going because the exercises we're doing are all gonna use our body weight and strength, okay? So the best way to really burn our muscles like that is to just keep going and repetition, yeah? Um, and then at the end of the class, I'm gonna turn you around and outside I've got my own aerial rig, I'm very lucky, in the garden. And I'm just gonna show you like a couple of exercises that you can do at the gym. You can take these to like a park with bars that you can hang off. Or if you're an aerialist, of course, you might find a new conditioning exercise that you can use there. So I'm gonna show you those at the end. So, also I do need to say that obviously as I can't see you, this is an online platform, I'm sure you're aware of that, uh, is that if anything hurts, please do stop, please don't carry on doing it. Um, <coughs> uh, yeah, because I'm not there to correct you and help you and nothing's worth getting an injury over, so please make sure that you don't carry on if something feels too uncomfortable. Okay, so you might need in today's class, if you've got a couple of yoga blocks, that would be fab. If not, don't worry, you can use some books, but this is only an aid for a little tiny bit of flexibility, so you might not need them at all, so don't feel like you can't do it, and it's only one exercise, so don't stress about that. Right, so without further ado, let's get started. So I've arranged the camera where I think I've done it a little bit different today. I'm trying to fit myself into the screen. I think that's going to work, but yeah, good morning. Okay, everyone, so let's start. We're going to start with a warm-up. So get yourself a space to exercise. I think, I'm in the screen, aren't I? Yeah, that's better than the sun. Okay, so we're going to start warming up all together. Feet at hip width apart. I'm really, I'm really sorry. Alexa, turn the volume down. That's so embarrassing. I should have done that before. Breathing in, reach your arms up to the ceiling. Stretching up, and now exhale with the arms. Breathing in again, and exhale. Bring your arms down, and one more time. Breathing in, and exhale with the arms down. Breathing in and up. This time we're gonna swing fast, use our legs. We're gonna go, now really keep your breath going in these movements, and let your knees really bounce. You wanna feel like there's weight in the ends of your arms, swinging you down. Let your breath go. Really getting your breath going in the start of any exercise is gonna help warm your body up so much more. This time at the top, reach really, really high. Bend your knees, we're gonna stretch down with our chest first, we're rippling through the body. At the bottom, keep your knees soft and then you're gonna roll up through your spine. Keep it curving up vertebrae by vertebrae all the way to the top. Follow up with the hands. Breathing. 
head up, rolling up. Good, that's two. Reaching up to the top. And all the way down, folding all the way down and rolling all the way up through the vertebrae. This is definitely a ridiculous hairstyle to do. All the way down. And at the bottom here this time, we're going to very gently stretch and bend your legs there. So don't take the stretch too much if you don't want to yet. Just starting to wake up your hamstrings there. I hope you can hear me. I'm probably being quite loud, so yeah. Good, and this time we're going to walk our feet out a little bit more than our shoulder widths apart. And we're going to bend there into a nice low squat. Reach your arms forward so your fingertips are in line with your hips. And we're just going to stand up straight from there. We're going to squat down, keeping that nice line, and standing up from there, good. And two more, squatting down, and up from there, and squatting down. And from here, you're going to straighten your legs and keep that flat line in the body. So you want to go for a really flat back. So fingertip to tailbone should be a straight line, hold your stomach up. If that's too much for you, flexibility-wise, keep your knees soft. Keep that flat back, we're going to bend there and stretch. Keep your fingers pulling forwards, bend and stretch. Two more. Bend and stretch. Keep breathing. Bend and stretch. Now imagine someone's really pulling your fingers forward, 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 reach forward down to the mat. Good. And we're going to walk our hands out into our first plank of the day. Stretch out there and then we're just going to walk back into kind of a low squat shape there. Walking forward, really breathe, back and forwards, good. When we're here this time, bring your feet a bit more together, we're going to find our first high plank. You're going to bring your right knee up to your shoulder eight times, you're going to squeeze that core, let's go. One, two, three, four, good, five, six, seven, Eight. Now take your right foot on the outside of that right hand and we're going to reach up to the ceiling there, really opening up your chest, your hips. Try and keep that back leg straight if you can. Try and really push it straight. Try and make sure that your foot isn't twisting at the front. You're going to take your eye line down, readjust a little bit further forward over your foot. We're going to bring our back knee up towards the front eight times. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Seven and eight. Press it down now. Now we're going to sit back onto that leg. So you're just going to follow the twist around and draw that front leg up. Carry your body on going that way. Twist around over your leg and press against your knee with that opposite arm. Get a nice spine stretch there. And just breathe there. Good. And opening that front leg all the way around, coming back up into your plank there. Same thing with the left leg coming up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Foot on the outside of the left hand. Reach up to the ceiling and stretch there. Breathe. Take some nice deep breaths. Reach for the ceiling. Now adjust your gaze down, bring your weight a little bit more forward over that hand, back leg comes in eight times, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight, good, sitting back onto that leg, twist around, draw the front leg up, carry on going, twisting all the way around to get a nice stretch through that spine. We're just going to lower. Take your hands forward. We're just going to really have a little stretch of the abdominals there. A little stretch of your back. Keep your glutes engaged. So your bum muscles. Point your toes and straighten your legs. Come down. Pushing up again. Just to where you're comfortable. Just to stretch out the front of the body and the back. Okay, bring your hands back under your armpits. Push back into our child's pose. You're going to take your feet together and your knees a little bit wider. So you're able to stretch down forwards there. Breathe there. 
We're going to come up over our hands here. So you want to try and get your hands underneath your shoulders. So readjust if they're not. We're just going to take five little froggy push-ups here. So your feet are together, knees apart. Elbows in. We go one, two, three, four, and five. Push back one more time into child's pose. Good job. Come up to sit. Draw your hands up. Grab a hold of your knees here. And you're just going to pull up through your belly button, through your spine, holding on to your knees. So it's like you're pulling away from them. It should be a nice stretch as your back kind of opens up there. Good. And walk your hands forward. Just so you're on all fours here. We're just going to draw some circles around our wrists here. We're going to be doing quite a bit of plank things, things using our body weights. We want to make sure our wrists are feeling ready for it. If at any point today your wrists have just had enough, just come back down, just give them a little shake out, give them a rest, yeah? You don't want to overdo it if you're not used to doing this kind of thing. Now just take some little walk arounds with the fingers, pressing all over, putting weight in different directions, not too much weight, and then turn the hands around this way, and really, really don't put too much weight into your wrist this way. Just try and get used to just really, really stretching them out. Good job. Okay, toes underneath, and we're going to roll all the way up to the top. Sorry, I've got to readjust. Okay, now, we're going to swing our arms, take your feet shoulder width apart, arms nice and heavy, swinging around side to side, just letting them whack against your body. Good. Really let them feel nice and weighty, keep your knees with a soft bend in them, and as you... Get a bit more warm with that. Let the twist go further. Take the weight a little bit more. Really let them throw around. Should feel a kind of like buzzy feeling at the end of your fingers if you're really letting it go. Good, and slow it down. Take it a bit slower. Come back to center. Good, we're gonna take both of our hands up to shoulder, uh, our elbows to shoulder height. Hands together, elbows together there, yeah? So I'm gonna try and keep that at shoulder height. We're just gonna tick tock our hands like that. Try to keep your shoulder blades down your back and let your arms go for 20. 19, 18, nice and fast. 16, 17. I counted backwards and then forwards. <laughs> now I've totally lost it. 10 more. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, shake it out. Good, my favourite stretch. Rotator cuff. So, if you weren't here last week, you won't have heard me talk about, <laughs> and I love to talk about this apparently, take your arm up to shoulder height, elbow at the same height there, fingers in front of you. So I've got a right angle here, should have a right angle here as well. Other hand on top, fingertips underneath that elbow, press the elbow down onto that wrist so you can just get the slightest lift here. And what we want to do here is just ever, ever, ever so slightly be getting a stretch in that shoulder. Don't lift your shoulder up, keep it pulling down. You should feel the shoulders start to work on the inside. Don't go too far with it. It's just a very, very subtle stretch. Good. Stretch the arms out. Change which one was on top. Same thing again. Keep that shoulder down. Very slight. Press with the opposite elbow. Good. Breathe. Shoulder blades down. Lovely. And then we're going to take our right arm up over the top again. Keep those shoulders down. Don't let yourself go here. As far as you can go, pull in your shoulder blades down your back. Draw them down. Hold onto your elbow and stretch. Good. And change. Really nice, guys. Okay, so we're going to go into our first section. As I said at the start, the key to exercising like this is to keep yourself under tension and keep yourself moving, yeah? So, you're going to go along with me as best you can. I'm going to shout out what we're doing. You might need to take a look. I'm going to try and instruct you as we go so we can really keep that burn going, yeah? Stay with me. It's not a long section. We just need to keep going through it, okay? So, I feel like we can... Okay. Lovely. All right, guys. So, first section is our back section. You just need the space of a rough. A rug. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> on a rug if you want. Uh, so we're going to do uh, snow angels first of all. So we're engaging our bum here. Remember to point your toes and keep your legs straight. Arms stretching out in front of you. So you're lifting your chest up, head up, arms in line, bum up as well. 
As we do this, drawing the arms back and down. Then we're gonna hold, okay, for eight here. After that, I'm just gonna keep talking you through it, but that's our first section. Remember, keep squeezing all the time. If you're not squeezing and keeping yourself under tension, then it's a little bit like, you may as well not do it. Do you know what I mean? So keep it going, keep yourself under tension, do the work for yourself. I'm gonna start talking. Let's go. All right, stretching out and lifting up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Squeeze your shoulder blades there. And eight, eight more. One, really squeeze your shoulder blades down together when you get there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it there. Hold your chest up off the floor. See if you can lift your feet a little bit higher. Keep squeezing. Five, six. Keep your shoulder blades pulling down your back. Eight more. One, two, three, four. Squeeze your shoulders. Five, six, seven, eight. Hold it there after eight this time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep your chest up. We're going to clasp our hands behind our back. So find your fingers. Draw your hands together. Pull them down, literally in your butt. Squeeze up. And squeeze. You can let your feet come down on this one. And four. If that's too much you flexibility wise, take the back of your hands onto your bum. Six. And seven. And eight. Hold it up there. Hold. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good. Keep your chest up. Take your arms around to the front. Elbows underneath your shoulders, if that's okay for you, flexibility-wise. If you need to come a bit more forward, that's absolutely fine. You want to think about drawing your um, triceps around and together, so they're rotating in together from here. We're going to be pushing up to our arm extension. As you go up, think about pulling the floor away from you. So don't think about pushing on the floor. As I come here, think about pulling and pulling your triceps in together. And you should feel your back and triceps really engage there. Let's go for eight. Seven. Six. Pull the floor. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. As you come down, you're gonna hover those elbows just an inch above the floor, so don't let them touch it. Think about drawing your shoulders down your back, think about drawing your triceps around and together so they're pulling in towards each other. Hold it there. Good, eight more. Hold it there, don't let your elbows drop. Keep those triceps pulling together. Five, six, seven, good. Elbows down, toes underneath. We're gonna come up into our elbow plank here and we're just gonna hold that for a moment. We're going to be dropping our stomach down and then coming back into this plank for eight. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. As you come up here, we're going to push back into this pose, which I found out is called dolphin position. So we're coming up here, push back through your arms, keep your elbows onto the floor. And you really want to try and get a straight line from your hips to your shoulders. If it's too much for you flexibility-wise, take a little bend in your knees there. Push through your shoulders there. We're going to shrug our shoulders. So it's just our shoulder blades moving down and up. Ten times here. Let's go. One. Two. Keep that straight line. Three. Push away from the floor. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Looking up, look between your thumbs. We're going to dive our nose down to our thumbs and come back here. Let's go. So we go one, push back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And hold it there. Hold it there from here. Press 
your hands into the floor. We're gonna lift those elbows off the floor into your downward dog. And hold that there. We're gonna come up over into that high plank. And then we're gonna go down through our elbow plank or chaturanga, okay? Elbows into the side, squeezing down slowly over a count of four. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Hold it there, hold it there, hold it there. And relax. Good, guys. So that's round number one. We've got another one of those. I'm sorry. Shake it all out. Do anything you need to. We're going to go back in to those snow angels. Ready? Three, two, one. Lifting up. One. And two, three, squeeze, squeeze. Can you squeeze higher? Five, six, seven, and eight more for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it there. Can you lift your chest even higher? Can you lift your feet higher? Are you squeezing your bum? Are your toes pointed? Are your legs straight? Are your shoulder blades pulling down? Seven and eight. Eight more. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze. Six, seven, eight. This time, hold it up. Four, three, two, one, clasp your hands behind your back. Don't let your chest go down. You can put your feet on the floor here or hands on your bum if you can't quite reach your hands. We're squeezing up for two, three, four, five. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Seven, eight. Hold it there. Hold it there. Hold your chest up. Two, squeeze your bum. Three, point your toes. Four, five. Seven, eight hands around to the front elbows underneath your shoulders. We're going to go for those squeezes on the floor. So remember here we're not pushing the floor, we're pulling it as we lift up. Pull the floor away from you and down. Pull, I meant towards you and down. Rotate your triceps together as you're doing this. You want to feel like they're trying to squeeze together. Five. Time. We're going to hover that inch above the floor. Hold it there. Keep your triceps internally rotating so they want to be squeezing in towards your body here. Don't let the tension go. Do the work for yourself. Good. Elbows down, up into that elbow plank. Hold that there. We're going to drop and lift for eight. Go one, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, push back up into our dolphin position here. Sorry, I've come off the mat and I'm sliding. Push back there, remember where it is for you. So if you need to bend your knees, that's fine. Feel that straight line from your shoulders up to your hips. Good, hold it there. We're going to take our shoulder shrugs here. We've got ten. One, so you're just sliding your shoulder blades. Down and up your back. Try not to arch. Seven, eight, two more. Nine, ten. Look up. Place your nose between your thumbs and push back. Two, we're nearly there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, 10, push the floor, lift your elbows up into downward dog. Oh my God, that is killer. Coming up over the top into your high plank there, we're gonna go down through our chaturanga. And ready, one, two, three, four. Hold it there, hold. Two, three, four, and go. Good job, you guys. That's round number one, done, done. I think that's a real tricep burner um, and obviously a back burner as well.
let's give those triceps a little stretch out just whilst we're all here together. And then we're going to go straight onto our next section. This one's going to slow the pace quite a bit. We're going to do some stability exercises. So these are really working on kind of balance because the balance that we're using is going to incorporate so many muscles that we need, oh, my goodness, to strengthen ourselves all the way through. So that's why they're great to do. So it's not going to be too fast paced. Let's slow the heart rate down a little bit. First one we're going to do is back into our dolphin position. You might just want to watch one and then we'll all have a go together. So elbows down, pushing your butt up there. I'm going to push up into this plank from here. As I come here, I'm going to have a go at seeing if I can stabilise myself on three points. If that is chilling for you, when you come up, we're going to go into two points, okay? So up, opposite arm, opposite leg, and down. Back into your dolphin position, up, and then we change, yeah? If you really find it hard, just take your hand off. Try to make sure the whole of the rest of your body doesn't move. That's the idea, yeah? That we're not twisting into it, everything is totally stabilised and we can just lift our arm and feet off, okay? Let's go, all together, we've got eight of these. Into your dolphin position, good, coming up, into your high plank and we lift, hold, and down, and up, other side, and down, and three, and down, oh my god, and four, and down, and five, and down, six, and down, seven, elbows down, one more, eight, Oh my god, I just, I find that so hard. If you want to challenge yourself more than that, when you come into it, hold that. So just hold that balance here. You'll be surprised how quickly it's going to really burn out so many of your muscles just holding a position. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is, the, I call this triangle stability. It's definitely not what it's actually called. But we're going to come up into our downward dog, and then we're going to put one leg through, Lifting the other leg up, okay? So I'm going to push back up here. I'm going to take my left leg through, place it on the side, pressing forward. I'm going to lift that back leg up. Back into downward dog. Other leg. If you find that easy, try to take off the opposite hand and come down. Again, the idea is that we're trying to keep the rest of our body really, really still as we're going through the movement, yeah? So we're really just using... Um, our core muscles to isolate the limbs stretching out and come back in, in theory. So, let's have a go. We're going to do eight of these. Yeah, let's do eight of these, right and left. So, alternate the leg each time. Okay, so up into this downward dog position and go your first leg in your own time. We go for one. Change the leg. Change the leg for three. Change the leg for four. For five. For six. Seven. My arms are shaking. And for eight. Good. Bring your knees down to the mat. We're going to go up onto all fours now into our floating bear position. So, this one looks a bit weird. We're just going to go onto all fours. Hands underneath our shoulders, knees underneath our hips at hip width apart. So make sure you're in a nice stable position. We tuck our toes underneath. You just hover your knees an inch above the floor and keep a flat back there. When we do that, we're lifting our right knee into our right armpit, our right toe onto our wrist. We never ever want to let this foot touch the floor. We're crunching up through our stomach, back to there. 
okay? Now, if you're really squeezing to keep that foot off the floor, that's when you're using the right muscles. Things like this are gonna help you so much with like tucking upside down in a little ball when you're doing aerial and things like that. It's using all those muscles to really, really squeeze in there. So, we're gonna go for eight and hold and then we change leg. So, try to keep that spine nice and stable all the time. Let's go. Squeezing in for one. Two, keep your foot off the floor. Three, keep the rest of your body still. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hold it there, hold that squeeze. Two, three, keep your foot off the floor, don't let it touch. Five, six, seven, and change. Left leg, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, hold it there, hold that squeeze. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my God, my arms hurt. <sighs> okay, so the next section, we did these in the first week. We didn't do them last week, you're lucky. So we're gonna do them again now. These are one of my favorite slash worst core exercises to do. Again, they're gonna help you so much with your inverts, upside down, but they're also just a brilliant core exercise, stability exercise to do on the floor. Now, this is where you might need to take your blocks to sit on top of them. If you find it a little bit difficult to sit up like this on your hamstring flexibility, okay? So, if you haven't got any blocks, or even that's too much, you're gonna take your hands just behind you for this exercise. You must keep your spine really, really long, yeah? The more your flexibility allows, the further over your legs you go, okay? We're still gonna be working the same muscles. The further that we lean this way, the harder it's gonna be. We're just gonna go for some leg lifts, okay? We're squeezing here, pressing into the floor, pushing your spine long. You're trying to feel that squeezed scoop up underneath. It needs to be your core lifting your leg. Thigh's gonna do a lot of the work, that's fine, let it. That's part of how we're gonna train our core up to get strong to lift your legs, okay? So, we're gonna go for eight and a hold. Hands here, 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 or sitting on your blocks, wherever you need to be. Stay with me, push through. All right, let's go. Legs straight, toes pointed. Go for one, two, three. Keep your spine long. Six, seven, hold it there, hold it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Change the other leg. One, two, check your spine. Is it still nice and long? Are you hunching over? Are you scooping in your abs? Hold it there. Make sure you're still thinking about your abs whilst you're doing this. Six, seven, eight, good. The next one we're gonna go for is our legs together, okay? A bit harder, I think. Make sure you're really thinking about those abs, yeah? Muscle, mind, body, connection. <laughs> That's how the professionals say it. Right, let's lift up for 10. Go, one, two, squeeze, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it there for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, it's good for us. So, Next one we're gonna do, we're gonna take our legs into a straddle or a second if you're a dancer, you don't have to be wide. Here is totally fine. Again, here, this is where you wanna pop your blocks underneath your butt. If you find it too difficult to sit and get your spine long like this, put the blocks under your bum and that's gonna help you a lot, okay? We're doing the same thing, hands either side of the knee. Really, really, really scooping that leg up and under, thinking about your abs. Spine long, press into the floor wherever your hands need to be. You can also put your hands behind you here if it's too much, okay? Let's go. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it there. For 2, hold, hold, hold. 3, 7, 8, 9, 10. And down. Let's change to the other leg. Let's get it done. 10, we go. For 1, 2, Squeeze, four, five, keep your spine long, seven, eight, nine, I'm sorry, I've 
up between tens and eights, that's evil of me. Hold it there, hold, hold, hold. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, the next one. Hands are coming in front, so here, if you need your hands behind you, that's fine. I'm gonna turn to the side a bit, because it's just a bit, you know, a bit full frontal. <laughs> so we're just gonna take our hands here, and again, I'm keeping my legs straight, squeezing to lift there, yeah? These are absolutely disgusting. So let's just get them done. 10 and then we hold. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it there for ten. Nine, eight, ow, six, five, four, three, two. I just hate that. I feel like I need a moment to just think about how much I hate it. But it's good for us. All right. Okay, guys. Give yourself a shake out. The next section we're going to go into is our ab section. Okay. At any point in this, if you need to support your lower back, if you feel like it's too much, just pop your hands underneath your bum there. Um, but it's fairly simple. The first one we're going to do, I'm going to turn on the side a little bit so you can see better. Okay, I'm going to squeeze my hips up to the ceiling to here, okay? So knees are coming in, yeah, knees are coming into the chest. When I get here, there's an extra lift to lift your bum up, yeah? We've got ten of those. Follow along with me, let's go. One, two, really, really lifting there. Three, up, four, lift your bum up. Five, you've got your hands to help you. Six. Seven, eight, after this ten, we're extending our legs at the top, up, we extend, we're going to lower down, hands underneath your bum if you need the support, we lift it up, up, extend, and lower, slowly, three, extend, lower, slowly, legs straight, toes pointed, extend, and lower, number five, in, extend, lower, number six, in, extend, and lower, number seven, extend, and lower, and we've got eight, extend, and lower, good, the next one we're going to do, we're going to come up onto our side, to do some oblique crunches, we're going to balance on one hip, if you want to, have one hand on the floor to help you, if not, I'm reaching out behind me, knees and feet stay together, and we're just going to be crunching up, this way, I'm trying to pull this elbow to my knee, okay? Don't let your feet come to the floor. That's the challenge. We've got 20, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, keep squeezing. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We're going on to the left. Don't let your feet come down. We go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good. Come up to sit. We're going to go round onto the front of our plank. We're going to do some hip dips, but I've got hip dips with an extra side of evil if you want it. We're going to come up into our plank, take your hands forward, so you're in an extended plank there. As you dip your hip down onto the elbow, hips to the floor, push up through your extended plank and to the side. If that's too much for you, just on your elbows, normal hip dips, okay? Let's go. We go for one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, stay with me, eight, nine, just go onto your elbows if you need to, that's ten, ten more, don't stop now, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, oh my god, two, 
one good bring your knees in come around oh my god if you're lucky i've talked too much i'm actually that twice we're going to go straight into the next one we're going to run out of time this time let me turn on the side we're just going to do lower butt lifts these are great for your lower abs here so i'm just pointing my feet up directly to the ceiling pushing my feet up and lifting my bum off the floor eight of those then we're going to crisscross slowly down and back up again okay let's go with me here we go one two you're nearly done so stay there five six seven eight eight down we go one two three four up for one two three four push up again one two three four five keep your legs straight if you can seven eight down four four three two one and up again one two three four one more time one two three four five six seven eight four down one two three four up again one two three four lift it up one two three four five six seven eight down for one two three four and up six seven eight good knees in breathe stretch out a little bit if you need to but not for too long the next one we're going to do this is your last one guys so really, really try and finish on a strong note. We're just gonna go for some V-ups. So that's when we're gonna snap our hands and feet together. But this time we're gonna do them in a straddle. So all we're gonna do is try and reach through our legs from our dish position here, hollow body. We reach up and through the legs there. So we're going here, okay? You don't need to worry about your flexibility here. Even if your legs are coming to there, that's fine. But you must point your toes. Okay, so dish position. Eight times. Let's finish strong. No, let's do ten. I've written ten. Let's do ten. Go for it, you guys. Breathe and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't leave now. Nine, ten. Dish. Hold your dish there. One, two, three, four. Lower back on the floor. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my goodness. It's finished. She's finished. Oh my god. So you see guys, it's just a nice 40 minutes blast of conditioning. And I don't know about you. I'm sweating. I think that hurts. Alright, let's just have a little stretch out all together and then I'm gonna show you a couple of exercises that you can take with you to the gym or to the park. Let's reach your hands forward here. Press your chest down to the floor, bum up into the air. I know this looks a bit much, but this is my favorite shoulder stretch, okay? Hips above your knees, hands forward. Press your chest into the floor there. Look in between your hands and breathe. Really take some nice deep breaths. Good, lifting up, I'm gonna thread my left hand underneath the opposite armpit. Try to keep pressing both shoulder blades flat to the floor. Good, draw that hand through a little bit more. Open up onto it, open the top arm out and look up to the ceiling. And over the top. Change, come through with the other hand. Stretching down there. Good, and reaching through. Opening up to the ceiling. Breathe. Good, and come down. Toes underneath you. We're just gonna roll up halfway here. Cross your hands over. <laughs> Cross your hands over your knees. Knees are still soft here. You're just gonna pull up through your belly button. Hold onto your legs. And you should feel a really nice back stretch there. So really pull your back and really hold onto your legs. Oh my God, it feels great. Good. And next one we're going to do just our 
triceps. They've worked very hard for us today. Reach one up, keep your shoulders down. And change other side. Oh my goodness, good. Get yourself some water guys. So now as promised, I'm gonna go outside onto my rig so I'm gonna turn you around. And I'm just gonna show you three exercises. These you can take with you in your aerial training. You can um, do these at the gym, you can take them to a park. Anywhere that you can find something you can safely hang from that you are sure is safe. Please don't construct anything <laughs> yourself. And uh, yeah, so you can maybe try these if you so desire. So let me just turn you around. Have a stretch if you want. I'm just gonna show you and then I'll talk about how many reps I'm gonna do. So, yeah, you can see. Right. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is, last week we did our L-sit, so um, sitting like we did on the floor, those leg lifts, that's what this helps for, so we're just sitting with our legs out at hip height. This time we're going to do the same in straddle, we're going to move our legs in and out. Remember all the time, any time we're hanging, we need to maintain this space between your ear and your shoulder, so all those shoulder shrugs, all that time that we spend upside down, all this is to condition our shoulders to stay down your back. This will help prevent you from injury and just make sure you're doing everything in the proper form. So, so my first one is going to be my L-sit in straddle. I always feel like this looks really weird, but here we go. So, legs out in straddle, holding here. Then I'm going to put them into pike and out. Two. Yeah? So I would go for 10, or you can go as many, like go for exhaustion if you want to. Like I say, great for your hip flexors, absolutely killer for your abs. You can do these hanging on a bar anywhere. So that's your first one for today. Second one, I call these around the worlds. I don't know if that's the name of another exercise as well, but that's what I'm calling these ones. So um, we're just gonna lift up, go through our straddle. So you can do these hanging from anywhere again, up nice and high. I'm going to cross one leg in front of the other and just straddle up and open. So I'm going this way and down, okay? And up and down. Again, you don't need to worry about your legs being straight. You can do these with your knees bent too. Okay, so this one's going to be great for working your abs and your obliques. A brilliant one. The next one, so last week we did our short arm hold. So holding up at the top there, or a strong hold. This time we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna think about working the negative. So we're gonna just jump up to hold ourselves there. We're gonna try and put our legs in L-sit, or you can tuck them in, and then you're gonna lower over a count. <coughs> so let me show you what I mean. I'm just gonna jump up to here. So legs, L-sit, or in. We're gonna lower. Two, and three, four. Okay, so I would go for like, I don't know, five of those, however hardcore you're feeling that day. So basically working the negative is then going to help you when it comes to working your actual pull-ups, which is going the other way, yeah? So, something to think about. Right, so guys, I think that's everything I've got for you today. Um, yes, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope some of you have worked out with me. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She's trying to kill us. Uh, so yeah, guys, I'm going to be over on the Instagram today. So any questions that you have got, um, do feel free to come over and ask, ask me about that. Hope you've enjoyed today. As always, if you do want to uh, donate, there's a pinned comment at the bottom where you can buy us a coffee. We really appreciate it. We love uh, to do these lives for you. And uh, thank you so much for joining in with us. Tomorrow you have the wonderful teacher who's going to be live from her boat showing us all fabulous things, healthy recipes and wonderful things like that. So I'll definitely be tuning in. Um, hope you've had a good time. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see, what you would like us to do. Thank you so much, guys. And have a brilliant Saturday in the sun. Much love. See ya.